My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist, and I'm going to show you how to draw a lighthouse in Illustrator. So the first thing I'm going to want to do is a lighthouse has this kind of bent shape. So I'm just going to create a slightly bent line with the pen tool. And you're going to want to make sure that you use the pen tool for this part. Um, you don't have to. You can also make, with, with the line tool, you can also just, you know, um, can do that as well, but um, I'm gonna try to stay a little more true to, a, to the lighthouse. So I've created this shape, and you're gonna wanna hold down Option and just copy it right over. And then you can right click, go to Transform, and Reflect. Make sure you do a vertical reflection. And so now you've got this reflection. And you can uh, adjust it a little bit, um, that's which is what I'm gonna do, just so it's a little bit more um, true to the lighthouse shape and just make sure these are lined up and I think they're lined up. Okay, so to close off this shape, I'm going to join the path and how you do this is make sure that you select the direct selection tool and click on your path, click the anchor that you want, hold down shift and hold down the anchor of the point that you want it to be connected to. You go to object, path, join. And this will just join those two anchor points. I'm going to do the same on the bottom. So object, path, join. And so now you've got this basic shape. Um, and so then make sure you select the direct selection. I'm mean, sorry, the selection tool, not the direct selection tool. Um, just draw a rectangle over your shape. Go to object, group. And so now when you move your shape, it won't break apart. All right, so here we have the base of the lighthouse. And now we're going to draw just um, the little lip that lives on top of most lighthouses. Um, and I'm just going to make it a little bit more to the left. And you know, it doesn't have to be exact, but you know, if you want to be true to a lighthouse, definitely make it more exact. Um, and so now I'm going to draw a rectangle. And the way you draw a rectangle is just go to the left, select the rectangle tool, or you can push M. And I'm just going to draw a little rectangle on top. And so now you've got your the top part. OK, so here comes a tricky part. But I'm going to make it so that it's not so tricky. Just make sure you have the rectangle tool again. Draw a little rectangle right on the top like that. And then just, um, if it's not exact, just you can move it over a little bit. OK, so here comes the tricky part. We're going to use the pen tool, and we're going to make the top. And the top is kind of, usually in a lighthouse, the top is kind of a bent shape. So we're going to use the pen tool and just select the anchors of your rectangles, the, the two. And you're just going to draw this kind of shape. And what this is going to do is make the top of your lighthouse. And you can go back in and use the direct selection tool and just uh, drag your anchor points over if you know it's not you know, ideal to the shape you want. And then go back to the rectangle tool and you can draw a little um, nub on the top. And if suppose you're, you don't like how this looks, um, you're going to want to select this top little nub and then your um, line again and if your path you're going to want to go to pathfinder but if your pathfinder window isn't open in my case it is but i'm going to pretend it's not go to window pathfinder and this little window will pop up and so when you've got these selected just select the option unite and this will make it so that this is one shape as opposed to two shapes um, so we, we've already got the basic structure of this lighthouse. Now I'm going to just take the rectangle tool again and draw another rectangle underneath just to um, make it look more realistic. OK, so most lighthouses tend to have a stripe or some kind of colored um, kind of twirl on its body. So I'm just going to make a little uh, band across it. and. All I did was use the pen tool, and then I'm going to take this out and do what we did before by holding down Option. You're just going to pull it down, and then use this 
and just uh, join these two. And there you have your band. So then we can, uh, we'll make it red and we'll, and so then you're just gonna drag a rectangle over it and go to object group like we did before and that way it'll stay the shape that you want. Okay, so this part, um, you're just gonna wanna select the direct selection tool and um, select some anchor points on your shape. And so I'm gonna select this little anchor point right here. And oops, I'm gonna use a different mouse and just drag it so that it fits right onto your lighthouse. And if you want in the end to, and I'm gonna zoom out. So there you've got your uh, lighthouse shape. And if you wanna make it a little thicker, you can, um, in this case, I'm going to. Um, and so here's your, and most lighthouses actually have this little fence kind of thing on the top. So I'm just gonna, Make sure your stroke is filled in and not your fill, just the stroke. So select um, whatever color you're deciding to make your lighthouse. In my case, I'm just gonna make it a black line. Hold down shift and just drag a line across. And then you can connect that line just like I'm doing here. And then if you wanna just zoom in, you can draw a couple more lines just to make that fence look a little bit more realistic. And so I'm just gonna, and actually a way simpler way to do this is just to select these guys, hold down option, and just drag them. And there you have your kind of fence look. And I'm gonna zoom out. Oops. And then the, for the last finishing touches of this um, lighthouse, I'm going to add some, um, a, like a, a light, just to make it, more realistic. Um, so I'm gonna add another layer. I'm gonna switch these so that now my stroke is empty and my fill is full of color. And just select you know, whatever color you want for light and you can draw your light. And then you can copy it and um, Transform, reflect, do a vertical reflection, and put it right there. And actually what you can do is copy these when you're done, delete it, and then put it on the layer below, so that way um, your shape will still show, but you'll still also have the light. And I'll fill this guy with some black. And there you have your basic lighthouse shape. My name is Alex, and this is how you make a lighthouse in Illustrator. Thank you.